Today we're testing out two viral cottage cheese recipes that are perfect for breakfast. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Catalina Crunch, but more about them later. Throughout history, there have been trends that have come and then gone and then come back. Take ponchos, for example, or Uggs. Yep, Uggs are on their way back. Did you know that? I didn't. I'm still not over that from high school. And the same thing happens in the food world. There's a whole generation of people that are just discovering that cottage cheese exists. And I'll have to admit, we've neglected this ingredient for quite some time. But we're willing to try almost anything on this channel, as you guys know. And so a couple weeks ago, Sarah and I actually made ice cream out of cottage cheese. And you know what? We were surprised. It was pretty good. It tasted kind of like a cheesecake. And a couple months ago, I actually uncovered a very unknown recipe to make cottage cheese chips. And guess what? I've been seeing that everywhere now. So it's definitely going viral right now. Today we have two exciting recipes that we're gonna be trying. And while these recipes do seem easy, if you want an even easier breakfast, you should check out Catalina Crunch, who's the sponsor of this video. Sarah and I have always been huge fans of Catalina Crunch, whether it's their cereals, their snack mixes, or even their cookies. And Catalina Crunch has come out with a limited edition cereal. It's called Triple Berry Blast. You guys know that we love berries on this channel, and so we got excited because this cereal is reminiscent of a freshly baked berry pie. And while we can't have traditional berry pie on keto, I'm happy that I can have some of this Catalina Crunch cereal to fulfill my needs. Sarah and I just love having these Catalina Crunch cereals in our pantry for a quick snack as well. When you're on keto, you definitely miss that crunch factor, and Catalina Crunch prioritizes it because they have it in the name. All of Catalina Crunch's products are zero sugar, high protein, keto friendly, and made with clean ingredients, nothing artificial. So Catalina Crunch gave us a deal for our Keto Twins community. If you go to catalinacrunch.com slash Keto Twins, you can get 15% off by using Keto Twins at checkout, and that's going to give you free shipping as well. And our code Keto Twins works site-wide. This triple berry blast is available while supplies last, which rhymes. Anyway, thanks so much to Catalina Crunch for sponsoring this video. So I saw this recipe on TikTok, and I definitely wanted to try it. It's for cottage cheese pancakes. Sounds quite peculiar. This video is by at Keep going cat and we're gonna be leaving links to this video in the description below you don't need an account to view these links you can just click on them and this video is not necessarily keto but we're gonna be making a keto you're gonna be needing pancake mix you can make your own pancake mix if you're better than us if you're better people than us you can make your own or you can go out and buy some pre-made keto pancake mix we always keep this in our pantry and use it for a lot of interesting things we've even breaded chicken in this and deep fried it you're gonna be eating about half a cup of cottage cheese we're gonna be using good old-fashioned Daisy cottage cheese. This is the 4% milk fat cottage cheese. She uses 3 fourths cup of water and a splash of vanilla. We're going to be combining all these ingredients into a large mixing bowl and then we're going to start scooping out our pancakes. She did say that it results in a marshmallowy delicious pancake which sounds really interesting because it kind of looks chunky. Mm. So like I said, this is not a keto recipe. So I kind of just assumed that it would be a one for one thing. She used one cup of pancake mix. I used one cup of pancake mix. You know what I mean? I didn't read the back of this important packaging. So I really screwed up with the water ratio. I should have thought about this more because I thought that it would be like a one to one. But what I found is that to get the consistency right, I needed to add in about three fourth cup more of the pancake mix to not have it be so watery. And that is just, a lesson that you learn on keto. No reason to freak out. Chunky vibe. Yeah, it's giving chunky vibe. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with a third cup mixture because we want our pancakes to be sizable. A little bit of butter in the pan. So since I've never cooked these before, we're gonna cook it like on medium low heat and we're gonna start to look for those bubbles to form like you would in standard pancakes, even though I have not made regular pancakes in at least four years. So we'll just see how this goes. Um, we're gonna make sure that they're cooked. We're gonna flip them. I'm gonna keep going, building out our pancake stack. We're gonna top it with a little pat of butter or couple or a lot. We're gonna put some Lakanto maple flavored syrup on it. We're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try it. So we ended up using about one and three fourths cup of pancake mix, keto friendly pancake mix, three fourths cup of water, half a cup of cottage cheese. Also, the other thing is, if you look, I mean, I can we can show it, but like they're pretty dark in some spots. I think that might be the cottage cheese that was cooking, mm -hmm. um, but it still smells legit. Mm -hmm. um, we're just gonna share this because we shared a womb, so we share a plate. And I wanna remember <laughs> that. <laughs> do you remember it? No. Do you? Do I remember being in the <laughs> You're womb? You're asking no. me. I don't know, some people say that they do remember. So the creator said it leaves a marshmallowy whatever that means, texture. So we'll see. Do you cut all the way down when you eat? Yes. Oh, okay. What, you're supposed to do eat one layer I at a time? Know. That's weird. I haven't eaten pancakes in a long time. I don't remember, honestly. 
Mm-hmm. I was apprehensive, but I am really, really enjoying it. Mm-hmm. They are um, a little bit more substantial, I would say, than your average pancake. I'm trying to see if I taste the cottage cheese at all. Not really. Maybe there is a slight tanginess to mm-hmm. it, and it I like it. Of course, the keto-friendly maple syrup on top. I'm trying to see if there's any, like, curds left over, but I don't really see any. Super delicious. They remind me of normal pancakes. Definitely making these again. The next cottage cheese recipe that we're going to be testing out today is a chaffle recipe. And recently we launched our newest recipe for 2023 of our chaffle, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. But that doesn't mean that we stop our quest to find the best chapel. We're gonna be trying out this today. It's by Transforming Teresa Marie. So pretty much what she does is she takes cottage cheese and she blends it up in a blender. That's what we're gonna be doing now. So while your cottage cheese is blending up, you can go ahead and plug in your chaffle maker or waffle maker. I don't know, we always call them chaffle makers because that's all we use them for, so that they can preheat. I actually upgraded from the single dash mini waffle makers to our four unit one and I love it a lot. I'm not sure what took me so long to upgrade, but here we are. I blended up my cottage cheese and tried to make it nice and smooth. We added it to a bowl and I added in three tablespoons of egg whites. We're gonna be moving on to the next step, which is adding a layer of cheese to the bottom of the waffle maker. Normally we just throw our batter in, we kind of spread it about and then we close it and it's done. So this has a little bit more of a technique to it. So we're going to be layering on our cheddar cheese on the bottom. We're gonna be putting in our batter as the middle layer. She did add some like bell peppers and stuff in there. We're not gonna do this. We just wanted to see what this base recipe tastes like so that we're comparing it to our normal base recipe. And then you add a little bit more cheddar cheese on top. She also sprays her chaffle maker, which we've never done before. We're not gonna do that. Should we do that or should we? No, I think that it'll be fine. We're gonna omit the avocado spray. A little bit more vocal than our other chaffle recipe. You can hear the moisture in there spillage going on. Very Our batter is very dry normally, so this is not something we're used to. It's not looking good. Here's an update. So it's been about four minutes. I did try to open it. I'm feeling a little bit of resistance, which means we might have some sticking. So the creator of the recipe might be right, and I'm okay to admit when we're wrong, and it seems like we were wrong. We're going to open this up and unveil it, but I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be good. You know what? It's not that terrible. We could save it. No, there's no saving this. What? I mean, I think it's done. I just think that we need to spray it. Okay. A lot of pressure. This is a lot of pressure for me. In life, you're wrong. I don't work well under pressure. You're wrong often. Thank you. The sign of a woman. No. The sign of an intel. Sign of intelligence is admitting when you're wrong. Well, then I'm wrong. Definitely. (laughs) Um, We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try this again with our avocado spray oil. We're gonna lightly do the top and the bottom, and then we're going to be adding in our cheese, the batter, more cheese, and closing it again. This has to work. We have no more cottage cheese left. (laughs) Fully. Please work. Please work. (laughs) Spillage. I feel stress. I feel anxiety. This is attempt number two. I can tell that it is sticking still, even though we sprayed it with avocado oil. The steam has dissipated. The other one. The other one kind of, you know, it solidified and we're definitely gonna be eating this because it looks pretty good. We're not gonna lose all hope, just some right now as I open this and unveil this mess that is going to be there, pretty sure. No, no, close it, close it, close it. Close it, okay. Uh Uh-oh. It's, it's stuck to the top, so I feel like I just need to get it off the No, top. just let it cook another minute or two. Emily says close it and cook it for another minute or two. We're not used to this world of chaffles that are like wet or moist. <laughs> We are used to a dry batter. So we're gonna have faith that this is gonna work out. We do have a plan for these chapels. We're going to do like a lox and bagel type of situation with some cream cheese, some smoked salmon, a little bit of dill and some capers. And then we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try it. So here are our chapels. They look interesting. A little artisanal. I actually told Sarah, maybe I could just cut off the edges, but she insisted on eating it like how it's meant to be eaten. This is what came out of it. So I wanted to show that. We're really not used to these like wet batters, if you will. The one that we normally make is very dry and it doesn't usually like come out of the sides like this one did. I think we should just try it as is. Some crispiness there. I mean, it is Holy. very. I mean, it is very thin considering how much stuff we put in there. There's um, like no insides. Yeah. Don't break your front tooth off again. Um, well. You're filming without it. 
if that happens ever. Mm. I feel like the cheese is a little burnt. Bitterness mm -hmm. to the burnt cheese than ours would normally have. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more difficult to maneuver into the machine. We had some issues. Hers came out fine. So maybe it was just something that we were doing. It tastes like saying. cheddar cheese. Yeah. I don't know if I taste the cottage cheese at all. It's still pretty tasty. Let's see it as a bagel replacement. Haven't had some smoked salmon in a minute. You could also do like a white fish that Emily is allergic to. Fun fact, I'm allergic to whitefish. But I like whitefish, yeah. but um, I have an intolerance to whitefish. Sometimes even salmon. Oh, so you're willing to risk it today? Smoked salmon, it's less likely. I think that there's some cross-contamination sometimes when fish touch other fish. Mm. Mm. If I had to choose one, I'm still gonna go with our new 2023 recipe for our chaffles. I think it's really interesting to see how many ways you can utilize cottage cheese. If you guys come across any recipes that we should try, let us know in the comment section below. And if you guys like our content, please consider subscribing. It's free <laughs> and Charlie would really appreciate if you would subscribe to our channel. Look at a bony. We're really trying oh. to hit 250,000 <laughs> subscribers this year. And don't forget to visit catalinacrunch.com slash keto twins and use the code keto twins to get 15% off your order plus free shipping. And if you guys want to see our latest chaffle recipe for 2023, you can click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are, are the Keto, keto Twins, twins signing, signing out. out.